by Angolo Atheringba Youth Council on the demolition of a monument erected at Angolo Atheringba Junction in commemoration of the 22nd Hubachocho Mini Festival held at Angolo Atheringba. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, we welcome you all to Angolo Atheringba, specifically Angolo Atheringba Junction, for this very important press conference. We want to thank you for honoring our invitation as such a short notice. In October 2022, Angola Atherenba was selected to host the mini Hubachocho Daba of the chief and people of entire Anglo land. The mini Daba is rotated annually among each of the 36 major towns constituting the Anglo states. It is held on the last Saturday of October each year to herald the main Hugbachocho, which is celebrated the following week at Angloga. The mini Daba is held to give each of the towns a feel of the Hugbachocho festival. It usually takes a long interval, in most instances a minimum of 30 years, for a community to host the mini Daba from a previously heard one. It has also become part of the Anglo tradition to erect a monument at a vantage point in the host town to commemorate the day. We want to place on record that Anglo Atheringba first hosted Hugbachocho Mini Daba in 1989. Our commemorative monument then was sited at the Anglo Atheringba Market Square, that is the lorry station. This historic monument is still there for all to see. We wish to add that a replica of the monument is found in any Anglo town that has ever hosted Mini Deba. For example, this can be found in towns like Anyako, Ngongofi and Veta, among others. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, last year, Anglo Afterenigba after 33 years, was privileged to be selected once again to host the Mini Daba. To this end, the Central Planning Committee, in consultation with chiefs and opinion leaders, decided that the second commemorative monument should be erected at the Anglo Atheringba Junction, the gateway to Anglo Atheringba Township. For the purpose of clarity, we quote what was written on the plaque. This plaque was unveiled by Togby Sri Deterred, a Mafia of Anglo States, assisted by Togby Kajaholo IV, Dufia of Anglo Atherenba, on the occasion of the second Hubachocho Mini Deba held at Anglo Atherenba on 29th October. 2022. The monument has stood safely at the spot it was erected for almost one year without any problem. Regrettably, however, at the recently held Gali Festival of our brothers and sisters of Ehi in the Katu North municipality, that is Saturday, 30th September 2023. The District Chief Executive for Ketunov, Honorable Anthony Avogbedo, made a very reckless, thoughtless, and irresponsible hate speech, inciting the chiefs and youth of our sister town, Veta, against us. The people of Angola Atheringba. To paraphrase him, he said, he did not understand why chiefs and youth of Veta should sit down and allow the people of Angola Atheringba, that is foreigners, to erect Ugbachocho monument at the Angola Atheringba junction, which he claimed was Veta land. He also indicated that Kata Municipal Assembly had earlier written to his assembly that is Ketunov, cautioning the junction area from part of the Kata municipality. The DCE claimed 
that this were attempt to take the land from the people of Beta. And he urged the chiefs to rise up before it was too late. He said the issue was very dear to his heart and added that that was his main message for the occasion. This obviously was a deliberate and calculated attempt to incite or personally initiate action to destroy the monument. We shall play this particular portion of the speech he delivered and make copies available to you. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, following closely on the heels of Honorable Avogbedo's infantile and impetuous address, we wake up in the morning of Wednesday, 18th October 2023, to find the monument destroyed. As you can see with your own eyes, it is important to underscore the point that the hate speech of the DC coupled with the subsequent destruction of the monument is first of all an act of provocation that, if care is not taken, could disturb the peaceful coexistence and mar the good relationship between the people of Beta and Angolo at But even more serious is the fact that an attack on Angolo at especially the 2022 Hugbachocho Mini Deba monument, it's an attack on the entire Anglo land, which is tantamount to abuse of his powers and a show of gross disrespect to the overlord of Ang to the overlord and our mafia of the Anglo land, his royal majesty, Togwi Sri the Third. By parity of reasoning and going by honorable Avogbedo's convoluted incitement speech and the subsequent destruction of the monument, we hold him responsible for this dastardly and criminal act. I'll repeat that sentence again. By parity of reasoning and going by Honorable Avogbedo's convoluted incitement speech and the subsequent destruction of the monument, we hold him, the DCE, responsible for these dastardly and criminal acts. While we have made a formal complaint to the police, we humbly urge the police to immediately pick up the DCE as the prime suspect in this criminal enterprise. Ladies and gentlemen, the DCE's speech was not only an incitement, but an attempt to promote fratricide between Angolo Atherenigba and Weta, who are deeply connected by blood ties deep down the centuries. By leading the charge to ensure the destruction of the monument, we deem it as an act of provocation, with the ultimate being to stoke the ambush of conflict between Angolo Atherenigba and Weta. The manner in which this unlawful act was carried out by fully armed men on the motorbikes under the cover of darkness amount to declaration of war and a recipe to the destabilization of peace and security among the towns of Anglo Atherenigba and Huerta who have hitherto lived and coexisted peacefully for ages. Clearly, Honorable Avogbedo is security risk and a co and conflicted person whose behavior must not be countenanced, inciting the chiefs and the youth of Beta and ensuring the destruction of the monument was an ample testimony of his total disregard for law and disrespect for the overlord of Anglo State, His Royal Majesty, Toby Sri the Third. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, the monument in question was unveiled on behalf of the Awa Mafia by no less a person than the Awadada of Anglo, Togbi Agbesi Ausu, Togbi Agbesi Ausu. This high level of disrespect to the Awa Mafia by a political appointee is totally unacceptable and unpardonable. In view of this, we, the youth of Angola Atherenigba, 
humbly call on His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Akufo Ado, to punish Mr. Anthony Avogbedo and relieve him of his post as a clerk signal to the President does not endorse nor condone criminality and disrespect for his appointees. In addition to that, we are also giving Mr. Avogbedo a 14-day ultimatum to repair and restore the monument to its original state. We shall take the necessary lawful civil action to ensure that this demand is met. Ladies and gentlemen, we must understand that both Beta and Anglo Atheringba, as well as their adjoining communities, all form part of the Greater Anglo, with the Awamafia as our overlord. It therefore defies common sense for the DC or any other person to contend that erecting a Hugbachocho monument at the junction implies foreigners or strangers stealing the land from the people of Weta, as the Ketu North DC shamefully claimed. One way, one may even ask how the people of Anglo Atheringba could be strangers or foreigners in Weta when both Weta and Anglo Atheringba are all Anglo towns. It is also significant to point out that the entire Ketu, which was later divided into North and South, was carved out of Keta. Is it not funny, therefore, for the DC of a recently created Ketu North to want to detect to Keta where its boundaries lies? If Mr. Avogbedo had an issue with the administrative boundary between Keta and Ketu North Assembly, as indicated by his colleague MC of Keta, in the letter he referred to in his speech, we believe there must be a more civil and lawful way of addressing this claim and counterclaim rather than inciting violence. We do not believe that someone like Mr. Avogbedo deserves a position of leadership in our democratic dispensation. As a DC and appointee of the president, it appears eccentric for him to double in triviality, especially when the monument is erected on public land. Besides, if he feels strongly that the people of Anglo Atheringba unlawfully erected the monument here, which in law amounted to trespass or encroachment, there are clearly laid down legal procedures to follow to seek redress. The law does not encounter, the law does not encourage or authorize any individual or a group of persons to take the law into their hands and do as they like. We do not even want to stress the fact that the monument is cited by the highway a public highway for that matter with the approval of the ghana highways authority it is for these reasons that we once again urge the police to quickly arrest katunov dc with emphasis it is therefore these reasons that we once again urge the police to quickly arrest the katunov dc accomplices we are not treating this matter lightly and we are prepared and ready to pursue it at every level to its logical conclusion. As we speak, the people of Anglo Atheringba are sitting with anger and tension is mounting. If due to lack of action on the part of the police and other law enforcement agencies, the tension and anger spill over we as leaders cannot control the situation. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, if you go around this junction and you go either towards Atiteti or Veta or to Agbozume, 
that is when you go to east, north, or west. The houses you will see, the businesses you will see, whatever property you will see, they all belong to the Anglo Anglo Athiranga people. This place where we are gathered has also been known and will continue to be known as Anglo Athiranga Junction, locally known as Thiangba Monu or Thiangba Junction. It had been so before many of us here were born, including Mr. Avogbedo. In view of the unnecessary controversy generated by the dishonorable DC for cutting off, we call on the Minister for Local Government, Rural Development and Decentralization, the Electoral Commission, and the other relevant state agencies to, as a matter of agency, set up a committee to make recommendations to properly and formally de demarcate the boundary between Anglo Atherengba and Hueta and for that matter Ketu North and Keta municipalities or constituencies. It needs stressing that since time immemorial the main Tema Aflau Road has served as a boundary between two Anglo communities. Ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime we call on our people doing businesses here at the junction and along the road up to Tengekopo Junction to stop paying any or any levies to the Katunov Assembly. I repeat that again. We call on our people doing businesses here at the junction and along the road up to Tengekopo Junction to stop paying any taxes or levies to Katunov Assembly. If any official from Katunov comes to you to pay any levy or tax, don't pay. And we repeat, don't pay. However, we encourage you to pay those taxes and levies to only the Katunov Municipal Assembly because that is where we properly belong. Before we end, we want to urge our people to continue to remain calm while we await the authorities to act on our demands. We want to assure you that we will take every step. We want to assure you that we will take every step to ensure that the monument is restored to its original state and the people responsible for the destruction of the old, including Mr. Avogbedo, are held accountable under the law. Thank you. Signed, Bubu Klinogo, Chairman of Anglo Atherengba Youth Council, Edwin Nuoza, the new Vice Chairman, Raphael Seth Boklo, Secretary, Martin Nomashi, Treasurer, John Abufla, Executive Member and President of JH Youth, Savior Abielapo, Executive Member and Secretary to Alangbati Youth, Kobla Kochiko, Executive Member and President of Ponga Youth, Honorable Jacob Onipayede, Amatepi, Executive Member and President of Tenge Youth Association. Thank you so much. Yeah,